Welcome back. Uh, as you can see, a man serpent great sword did fall. I can only two hand it at the moment, so and it's not upgraded, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Uh, so here we go. There's an item up there. It's like a soul. It's yeah. You can fall down to it if you want to. Gotta love Sigmar. Um, the armor, the Onion Knight armor. Um, it's actually really good. Um, I mean, style points. Style points if you use it. Okay, he's out of stuff to say. Um, in fact, if I have enough souls uh, to get it, I will probably just get that and wear that for the remainder of the Let's Play. Uh, just because I forgot... Um, It'll actually be coming up pretty soon, um, and looks amazing. Oh, damn it! I was starting my timer and forgot to pay attention to the fact that the ball. Here we go. Ah, for fuck's sake! Now the balls do a lot of damage, a lot. So you do not want to be hit. Um, you want to run, 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 and then. Get up here. And let's just let's just fight you here, snaky face. Ow! Mother fuck! That's what happens when you get hit with bleeding. Damn. I'm surprised I survived that. Uh, wow. Alright, uh, here we get a ring, a ring of steel protection, which considering my light armor load uh, I will be wearing that uh, for for this area uh, because everything here is physical basically um, so we're gonna traverse the white light here now this is not a boss this is just a white light um, you know, sort of as a checkpoint uh, if you notice here there is a um, trap there and as you can see, the arrows will come out of the arrows will come out of this hole right here. Now, um, there's a guy on the other side of the wall, so I suggest just making some noise. Now, if you're playing an old patch, he can trigger that, which is of course quite nice when he does. Yikes! Yikes! Come on. Okay, you died. Uh, the best thing, of course, to get by it would be just to jump and try not to hit it, <laughs> which I jumped and hit it anyway. All right. Uh, watch my fifteen. All right. So you want to make sure for this next bit that you're at full health. Um. Because we're gonna need to follow this. Now you need to jump because you will not make it otherwise, and come here. Okay, here we go. Now, um, as you can see, there's a hole right there. That's gonna fill up here in just a moment, and then a rock will crash through that wall. That's all well and good. Um, Let's grab an item here. Okay. <clears throat> From this point on, um, if you find a treasure chest, you should not just open it. You should be wary. I know you look at this and you're like, hey, this is just a treasure chest. There's, there's nothing different about it. Well, if we throw a Lloyd's Talisman down, we realize that it's an item. Now the Lloyd's Talisman, I'm not exactly sure why it makes it do that, uh, but it does cause the 
the it, well those are called mimics mimic chests to open up um, the lightning spear by the way this is this is this will this replaces your uh, your drake sword um, this is mighty damn fine uh, now you don't if you don't have a Lloyd's talisman you can get anything no okay there's a there's a random chance when they open up that they'll well really really random chance that when they open up they'll um, also have uh, an item in them called the symbol of avarice which is basically a helmet that looks exactly like that right there um, and it it um, well it it drains your health but it gives you a huge boost to magic find uh, as well as a huge boost uh, to souls gained uh, like from fighting See if we look here. Yeah, it's all right. So that one hit. We're gonna very quickly come over here, grab that. Now that's the gold covetous serpent, covetous gold serpent ring. Serpent is an imperfect dragon and symbol of the undead. Its habit of devouring prey even larger than itself it led to an association with gluttony. This gold ring engraved with a serpent boosts its wearer's item discovery, so that more items can be amassed. If you're farming for stuff, that's a must-have. You can have that in lieu of uh, having humanity if you so choose. Um, now, if you don't have any Lloyd's Talismans, uh, you can just walk up to it and poke it with a weapon. And watch out, because it will try and eat you. And if it actually lands... Um, trying to eat you it will kill you it's like an instant kill I don't I don't think you can survive it um, he'll also try to kick you and if he does he'll knock you a, a good way uh, if you had for some reason a ridiculous amount of health you could run back up the way you came uh, my guess is you do not um, you're not gonna have enough to make it up because you will get hit so the only way up um, is this now there's blood on it so that's because you need to be fleet of foot and get off of it because then it takes you on up into some spikes and will hurt you so and this is you know whatever it's just a room nothing nothing here except a way out and this puts you um, actually this puts you in a good spot because you can Let's see, let's wait for it. The thing always seems to know where you are. Wait for the, there it goes. The rock goes that way. And here we go. Now, this is the thing that's that's shooting all the, all the rocks and shit. This is, I mean, you guys should know, recognize this. We, we drop down there, and I'd be, you know, back on the way up. Well, okay. Now, <clears throat> if you are... Uh, using sorceries then you want to hit it this way and let it go and you see the damage there where it did that you know it hit that sleeping uh, serpent it breaks a wall um, that's all you need to do so if you want to move it back uh, you can uh, but yeah move that back and then go that way um, there is a guy Big Cat Logan which if you've been reading loading screens uh, you have no doubt heard of Big Hat Logan. Yeah, that's that's all you got to do to to get past that particular trap there. Uh, but yeah, so you want and you want to save him, uh, especially if you saved the um, saved his apprentice guy uh, back in the undead burg, and you just got to sprint across that over here is snake and with the spear you can stay behind your shield uh, and attack it doesn't change your attack power at all uh, that's another one of those elevator things don't I wouldn't go down there unless unless you're crazy uh, but yeah that's that's the biggest thing about the spear you can stay behind and stay fairly protected um, 
it, it's a little slow to attack that way, but you do the exact same damage with that than you would with just a regular one-handed attack. So, if you're going to be one-handing it, you might as well. The uh, thing about the lightning, well, any of the elemental weapons, um, is they still do some physical damage, but then they also do elemental. And most of the time, split damage is, is actually a, a good thing, um, in PvE anyway. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing, actually, nothing special there. It's, it's literally just a spear that has been upgraded to lightning, um, which you can take any normal class weapon and upgrade it um, in, the, in, well, in, in a Norlando. That's where we're trying to get to still. Okay, you wanna for this if, for this area if you have um, if you have some fire bombs you'll wanna use those, but you wanna grab target of that guy. Ow! I was like, are you gonna shoot or not? Let me step out. There you go. Wait for him to shoot. If you yeah if you bow him you can just sit there like that. Uh, if you use fire bombs, you want to throw one back up, throw one back up, throw one back up. And of course, don't forget, when you throw, you take a step forward. Okay. Now, you may not be able to see it. Let me see if I can show you. But there are two, two trap pedals on the other side. And it seems, even though that's over there, it seems like no matter what you do, um, you're going to hit it. So... I would say when you get to the end, uh, you want to you want to jump. Now for this, you want to wait. You want to try to run into the first one as it's passing. Yeah, I mean you'll you'll see what I mean. Like run into it there, and then jump, and then get out of the way. The way to the left over there is just so you can get around to that guy that I shot with the bow. Uh, there's there's nothing there. There's nothing special anyway. And here we are. There's a a giant golem guy. If you go over here to the right, you can get a a pretty useful ring, um, uh, especially for what's coming up. Uh, if it's your first time through, and these are just the regular crimson knight guys, like in the church. Uh, they might be a little stronger, but I, I don't think so. But uh, just kill him. There's another one over here. And these are the regular balder guys. No, you don't. Now, this one's safe. Ooh, tight knot shard. Thank you. This one's safe. Um, I, just just hit them if you don't know, is, is really what I'm saying. But the flame stone plate ring, uh, that will give you increased fire resistance. Which again, if you're first time going through this, I would I would recommend it. Speaking of that, the gold hemmed stuff has the best fire resistance bang for the buck uh, out of anything that you have right now, at least more than likely. All right, see that charred spot? That's why that's a charred spot. Um, ow, damn it. You really want to go with full health here. If you know this is coming, and you're not trying to show people watching you play uh, the firebomb things, you can just run and, and start going. Um, once he starts, though, motherfuck. Once he starts, though, it's really... Oh, don't, don't get the treasure. Don't get the treasure. We'll get the treasure later. You just run. Don't worry about the treasure. We'll come back for it. Uh, now you're not safe here. You're 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 really not safe unless you're up unless you're up really close against the thing. There's a guy down that way, but unless you go down there, you won't aggro him. Um, keep going. Keep going.
Uh, just be careful because this is narrow, so don't don't do something stupid and fall off. And yeah, he can hit you right there. That's why it's charred. Here's just a crossbow guy. Uh, would you give me a tight knife shard? All right, here we go. Now there's a, there's a couple things you can do. Um, if you happen to be human at this point, then you can go over here, uh, over in that side over there. You can get iron Tarkus. Um, but uh, more than likely you're not. Uh, kind of like I'm not. If I was, I'd go get him. Uh, what we're going to do here is next time when you come back, uh, I'm going to show you how to get rid of the firebomb guy. Once you, he just killed somebody for me. Plus 500. Thank you, fire guy. Anyway, I'll show you how to take care of him and also show you where hidden bonfire is here. Thanks for watching.